the mistletoe margarita, the Scrooge driver, the North Pole punch. The holidays call for cocktails, so get everything you'll need for them delivered with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. So what's it gonna be? Classics like Bullet Bourbon, Don Julio Reposado, or Kettle One, or maybe something new. Find it all on Drizzly where you can get beer, wine, and spirits delivered for any holiday festivity. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. For Western fashions here in Reno, you really can't beat Zapateria La Bailarina. On this episode of The Commercial Break. The men side had a certain vibe to it. It wasn't... Very Chippendales. Yeah, very Chippendales. Which makes sense. There's a lot of penises flying around in it. Let's be honest. There was yeah. a lot of penises over there. Yeah. And then the women's side was always very crowded. And the men's <laughs> side was sparsely... <laughs> right. It was sparsely visited. <laughs> We get back to my house and we are twisted like a paper bag. She starts going down on me. I loved it. I have never had head like this. Ever. She was a true pro. No teeth, no loop de loose, <laughs> no bobbing for apple bags, just good clean American blowing and going. <laughs> wow. What in the fuck, Tyler? <laughs> I appreciate Tyler writing I in. I love I the think, honesty. I think we just gave him the advice he can probably use. Watch it's going to the whole thing's going to blow <laughs> Keep up us posted, face. Tyler. Yeah, please do keep us posted. That's the one thing that, that, you know, everybody writes these stories and then they never write back to me when yeah, we have the questions. Happened. Yeah, I feel how like they get happen. a little nervous. Either that or like most listeners, they only listen to one episode, <laughs> wrote in, and then never listened again. <laughs> the next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. Tacos and tamales, welcome to another episode of the Commercial Break. I'm Brian Green. This is my dear friend Kristen Joy Hoodley. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. Best to you out there in the podcast universe. How the hell are you? Thanks for joining us on yet another episode of this, the Commercial Break. It's not for everyone, but fact, news, or fiction is guaranteed in 30 seconds or less, or your money back. Go to the brand new TCBBadcast.com to collect your winning. Yeah. Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. We don't do this often, but sometimes we get in the studio in the morning. Yeah. And it takes our brains just a little bit <laughs> the gears yes so now we're on our fourth so time starting slower, the show a little yes. bit slower i'm like welcome <laughs> <laughs> I was, and I like the tamales. Tacos you like that and tacos and tamales. And today is Taco Tuesday. Oh, is it really? When we're recording. Oh, it's so. it's always Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Well, <laughs> who has tacos on Taco Tuesday? I think that's we for, do. I think that's for twenty year olds. Oh, you we do. Do, yeah. do you really? Well, Every Tuesday? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just want to. Get... <laughs> that's just a good reason to have some tacos. Sure. Why not? Yeah. I wanted to bring up a story that if you, it, you know, there's like uh, people that play chess. Um, oh, yeah. There's lots of people who play chess. Yes. That's not the point of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? People play chess. Breaking what? news. What's that? <laughs> uh, but there are people who play chess against computers. Yes. And so there's a kid, I think in Russia, or maybe it's China. I can't remember the, the exact details of the story. And you don't come here for exact no. details of any story. <laughs> no. But the kid is playing a robot. A, ro- a chess robot, yes. an actual physical robot that's got AI, and this robot is really good, and everyone wants to beat him, and there's this kid who has, on occasion, beat this particular robot. And mm-hmm. in a rematch, I think there's like an IBM robot, too, and in a, a, a robot, in a rematch, the kid is taking just a little bit too long to make his <laughs> next move, and he's got his hand out, and he's like thinking about the next move, you know? Yeah. So this is going on for like, I don't know how long, it's in the... You know, there's a video of it. You can't really tell, but let's just say a minute it's going on. The kid's got his hand over a couple of different pieces, yes. and he's trying to figure out. And the robot reaches over and breaks the kid's finger. That's right. Did you see that? I heard that. That's yes, I read about that. Oh, my God. Robot got pissed because the kid was taking too long. I know. I will now destroy your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch. <laughs> it's like, why? Yeah. Yeah. So I. So whoever made the robot is like, you know, the robot got this confused. This was in Russia. Oh, it was in Russia? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the fucking Russian robots. Oh, They're just, they don't make them like that here in America. You better be careful, too. Those My Boston goodness. Dynamic robots are fucking scary. Have yeah. you seen those things? Mm-hmm. The things that run around and knock down walls and point guns at people, and it's all kind of insanity. It really there's is. A, there's a pretty famous video out there of one of these dynamic robots, and ones that kind of stand up that look like soldiers almost. Okay. And it's running around, and it's got this gun, and it will it like shoots the target, and then it points to a human being, and then it pulls the gun away. And then it goes and wow. it shoots a target, and it points at another human being. And Who's then, the human being that's the test are, for that? Okay, so, so like when you <laughs> like, watch the video, I know, like... <laughs> like Kind of moron puts themselves in front of you know this is just a bad sci-fi movie waiting to happen like of course you're going to get shot but 
there's this whole video, and it's incre- looks incredibly real. And so people will run at the robot, and the robot will like push it down, right? And then the person will get back up, and the robot will push it back down. God, it's this, this is so it's like this Terminator insane, world. Exactly, it's this insane video. It's been going around the internet for a while now, and a lot of people believe it's real. It's not real. It's oh. CGI. Oh. Good to know, right? That there's no morons putting themselves in front of real bullets yeah. with a robot. But this robot just kicks so much fucking ass. And the thing is, is that I think the Boston Dynamic robots are getting pretty close to being able to do this kind mm-hmm. of actual stuff. And that scares the holy fucking shit out of me. Yeah. Between and- a kid breaking his <laughs> finger and these Boston Dynamic videos that are going on there, I'm a little nervous about the future. Mm-hmm. Like, what's my son going to run up against, right? Yeah. Are there going to be robots? Robo- co- Robocop. Yeah, they just run around and break your fingers. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't spray graffiti, broken hand, you know. <laughs> Yeah, let me ask you this question, too. Sure. Do you think there's robots in the metaverse? There are robots in the metaverse. I've okay. seen them. They look like centaurs. They, and they look tell like you to centaurs. go home. <laughs> <laughs> there's everything in the metaverse. No, I am telling this. you, there's a whole fucking thing going on mm-hmm. in the metaverse. And Has anybody written into us to tell no us? No one like, said a fucking okay. thing about the metaverse. <laughs> they don't know either. Because even though there are, mil- <laughs> there are millions of people in the metaverse, none of our listeners are there. <laughs> All right, well, we need to forge the path. I think it's these young like kids a lot cooler than us. Yeah. Like we're just not cool enough to be in the metaverse. No. I'm telling you, I went to the island and I got exiled. Well, we're used to just living the regular life. We're not used to going into the uh My the second real life. life is not miserable enough yet. Exactly. To take me into the second yes. life. <laughs> but if it gets there, right. I'm not afraid to go into the second life and find me a little hottie and settle down and have a couple of meta children. <laughs> I want to be like a meta club owner is what I want. I want to be like a meta a bartender at a club. No, I think that's a little misogynistic. I mean, sex work is work, I guess, if you want to own you could a be, strip It could club. be a strip club for men and women. Yeah. There used to be that place here in Atlanta. I don't know if it's still there. The no, they club. shut it down. Yeah. yeah, I don't think the I don't think those people well, in Sandy there. Springs like the penises flying around. <laughs> I went there for Did you really? A I've been there. I was party. there a couple of times. Yeah. It's like you went to the room on One the right. One side had women, yeah. and the other side, side had, had men. men. So it was yeah. cool because you could anybody yeah. could go there. Yeah, you know the men side had a certain vibe to it. It wasn't very Chippendales. Yeah, very Chippendales. Which makes sense. There was a lot of penises flying around in it. Let's be honest. There was yeah. a lot of penises over there. Yeah. And then the women's side was always very crowded. And the men's <laughs> side was sparsely, <laughs> right. it was sparsely visited. <laughs> because let's be honest. I don't think, you know, there's that famous strip club here in Atlanta. What's it called? Um, Swing and Richards. Yeah. Swing and Richards. They closed. They closed Swing yeah, and Richards? Yeah, they did after a long time. Did they really? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That, that was place an was an institution. institution. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even I went to Swing and Richards. Like, you oh, just I had to there. go to Swing and Richards. Yeah. Is it interesting to you as a woman to see all of those Swing and Dicks, or is it? It's more of a novelty type yeah. thing. Like, you oh, know? there's a penis. <laughs> like- <laughs> That's what a penis looks like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. I mean, it was more of a novelty type thing. Like, oh, everybody's drinking. Let's go to Swing and Richards. When Wee. you went to the... It was fun. When you went to the strip club, what did the guys grind up on women with their naked penises? No. No. So no, w- they once, were just on the stage. Okay, so once the... And it was like a runway type thing. Yeah. So once the little thing came off or whatever it is, the man... They didn't always. Hammock, it wasn't always like just full-blown naked men. <laughs> oh, so the, a lot of they times had, it was just yeah, them and the... Like, they had a little Speedo type thing. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, Do you think they plump like, themselves up before they go out there? I think so. Do, does it look like they have big penises? When it does. Is yeah. it looks like the... I, mean, I think you want to show your best <laughs> your best self. <laughs> Do you think you have to have... <laughs> the a, tips. When you go to, to get hired at a, at a strip... <laughs> I had a friend, by the way, who was a male stripper. Uh-huh. When you go to get hired at a male strip club. And you should know all about this then. Uh, well, I didn't ask the guy. It wasn't like we were sitting around having conversations about his cock. I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> tell me about your cock, man. Well, what do you do? He made a ready. shit ton of money, though. Oh, he yeah. made a shit ton of money. Yeah. When you are a male stripper and you're going to apply for a job, do you believe that you have to show the goods in order to get that position? Yeah, I think so. Do you? Mm-hmm. Do you think when you're I think a female there's a, like, stripper? like some kind of a little audition. How do you dance? Yeah. And, and then... Do you think there's a size required requirement? <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly curious about this. I don't think there's a size requirement. I think it's probably just about your personality and how you interact with people. And are you truly comfortable doing this? Yeah. It's not about your size. It's about your personality. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I there's something for everyone. I went to, when I was like 20 years old, I went to a bachelor party. And this bachelor party was out 
of fucking control. <laughs> it was like the movie Bachelor oh, Party. Oh, it was way, way crazier <laughs> Is there than a the donkey movie. involved? There was three women who showed up, right? <laughs> So we get to this bachelor party. It's packed. Like it's in a house and it's packed. And, you know, there's got like a screened in porch and everybody's out there smoking cigarettes and doing blow and, you know, joints party. are being passed around. It's a party party. Mm-hmm. And a couple hours after we got there, the women showed up, the strippers, the dancers showed up. And the performance that these ladies put on was so X-rated that to my mind, this is like seared <laughs> in my fucking head. And what really shook me to the core at 20 years old, right? Because I had never really experienced anything like this. Okay. I was only 20. I'd ne- I had certainly been to strip clubs. I dated a stripper I mean, yeah, when I was 20 true, years I old, right? But I had never seen anything like this. Like there were vibrators involved and whips right. and chains and anal beads. It, it was a whole out. thing. Yeah, it was like nothing was left on the table. Everything was there. They gave the groom a blowjob in front of... Of everyone else in the room. That's pretty wild. It was wild. <laughs> and then <laughs> afterwards, I remember because the guy, the, the reason I got invited, remember when I lived on that back screened in porch yes, for a while? Okay. Yes. The guy who actually was the guy who had the apartment, the one who should have been living there <laughs> instead of the other 15 people living on the screened in porch. <laughs> right. He was the one who invited us to the party and he was the best man. And I will mm. never forget that after this whole thing went down, the girls were kind of mulling around, you know, like looking for the I'm next looking, taker. Yeah, looking for the next taker. That's exactly <laughs> right. And the guy that that I was there with paid three, all three of the girls to go in a room with the groom. Yeah. It was the wildest fucking thing I'd ever seen. Yeah, that's that's wild. That is wild. <laughs> I wonder if those people are still married. No, of course they're not. No, I think there's a I think there's a high likelihood. That divorce is on the horizon. If you decide to have sex with someone yeah. days before your wedding, what and what is the why? What is that like? Oh, it's your last. It's your time. last hurrah. It's your last what? night. But you want it to be with a stripper? Yeah. Under what <laughs> premise? I mean, listen. And this is not the last. This this was this was the first time I had ever seen anything like this. But it wasn't the last time I'd been to a bachelor party where dancers got involved with the groom before or after all the sure. activities. But I never bought into the premise. That you needed to sleep with someone days before you got married right. to someone. It seemed like so right. antithetical <laughs> to the idea of marriage. Like, like, I'm this close to committing to someone for the rest of my life. Yeah, Let and me, then I'm supposedly in love with. Yeah, and, let me put my cock uh, into I mean, a random vagina. Yeah, like it just weird. didn't that seem right. But there are so many guys who buy into this philosophy, yeah. and I don't know one of them that's still married. Mm-hmm. Not one of them. If I think back upon all the wild bachelor parties I've been to, none of them are still married. And to think about it, I actually had a pretty wild bachelor party and I was divorced too. <laughs> so for there this, you go. I think it maybe it's a younger, uh, I agree. Thing. I agree. A younger and immature thing to do. Yeah. I, yeah I'm not. Sh- I think there's, a, I think it's, it was way more prevalent before too. I mean, the more that stuff that I hear about are, you know, people going and doing just fun weekends somewhere with their friends, not necessarily going completely nuts. Bachelor party one, <laughs> my first bachelor party, was fucking bananas. We, like, got a place in Hilton Head, a uh, condo in Hilton Head, and it was just nutty. I didn't even want to get into it. It was nutty, right? It yeah. wasn't that nutty. It wasn't, like, anal beads and blowjobs nutty. Yeah. But it was pretty crazy, and we managed to find dancers on Hilton Head, yeah. and it just got, and they stayed with us for like twelve hours. Right. I mean, it was a it was a long, long night. Bachelor party number two, I literally went to dinner at yeah. seven o'clock, and I was in bed by nine thirty. Right. Bachelor party number two, I had people at the table at dinner that I didn't even know. I it's how boring this was. It was like, hey, I invited one of my friends' friends because you're pretty boring now. <laughs> I had a glass of wine and I was like, well, I'm tired. Yeah, Time to go home. Yeah, exactly. I, I think it was more appropriate than, yes. the, than the first one. But yeah, I don't think if you buy into the idea that you can just sleep with someone randomly before you're married. No, that, I mean, it's not okay throughout the relationship leading up to the marriage. I mean, unless you're Adam the liar and you're, you know, polyamorous, well, not polyamorous by choice. Is yeah, is a whole other animal. I just... Uh, yeah, I just. I'm polyamorous. Do do. Okay, I'm polyamorous. <laughs> why? Because my girlfriend cheated on me. <laughs> that's why. You know that's what happened. Exactly. You know that's what happened. <laughs> she found another guy that she liked more, and he said, "He goes, don't you don't have to break up with no, me? No, we don't. We're have to polyamorous break up. Right. now. Yeah, which means you sleep with whoever you want to. I'll cry in the corner, and we'll. I'll tell my friends we're polyamorous. Yes. Uh, do you do you know of any women? 
that subscribe to that same. It's a little bit different with women. Yeah, I, I would have to yes, think. And yes. I guess it, it depends on if you're, you know, you're gay, you're straight or whatever you're into. But do you know any women who you think would buy into that philosophy? No, I don't personally. No, no, no I not mean, you like personally. A, no, I don't personally know. Oh, you anyone. don't know anybody. One. No. Yeah. No, I mean, I've I have been to bachelorette parties before with the strippers and that kind of thing, but there was no like real sex going on. Do it was the, a show. Do yeah. Do the strippers get boners? <laughs> do you remember? Uh, yeah, they do. I mean, it seemed like it. Oh wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think it would be hard not I can to remember <laughs> if I can remember. I mean, you think they would have to? Like, you think it would be yeah. one of those things that was perfectly normal about a stripper coming over and grinding all over everybody? He's yeah. gonna, you know, yeah. he's gonna be aroused. Yeah. Either that or. Or there's also meds and uh, shots yeah, that's true. and shots. All kinds of those things. Those porn stars that take those shots. Yeah. That's wild. Mm-hmm. That's fucking wild. Mm-hmm. Injecting something straight into your penis to keep yeah. hard for six to seven hours. That seems dangerous to me. That seems mm-hmm. really. But I guess when you're a porn star, you need your equipment to work. It's part of your uh, money maker. <laughs> yeah. And I got to imagine after a while of being a, like a porn star and just or a stripper or whatever, eventually you're just so desensitized, desensitized to all of yeah. it. It's like it's really hard to get excited about anything. It's yeah. like another vagina, another right. pair of boobs, another dick. Like, right. you know, you just don't get all that excited about it anymore. I have no idea how we got started on this line <laughs> of conversation either. after I talked about a robot breaking a Russian kid's hand. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of this commercial break. I don't know, but it was interesting there for a minute. <laughs> Chrissy. Yes. I got the wildest text message last night on the six six one two three seven eight two. It's the six six one best to yo uh hotline. I love the people that write into that. They are fantastic. Now, I had a little think on whether or not I should actually you know tell this story, but I figure I want you to know this is about a kid in high school, but he claims to be eighteen years old. He speaks like an adult, and I don't think there's anything in here that's too, that's that would be like divulging any kind of information about you know someone in high school. Is it so about a strip share. club party? It gets a little <laughs> wild here for a minute, so I'll just uh, let me tell the story, okay? And then please, we'll go through it, and we'll we'll give story. our advice. This is ask, this is an Ask TCB, uh, and it comes from a guy named Tyler. Okay, we're going to call him Tyler anyway. That's what we're going to call him. Okay, Brian like and Tyler. Chrissy. I have a situation unfolding in my personal life, and I'd like your help. Well, thanks, Tyler. Thanks for calling it. I don't know why in the world you would think that <laughs> I Chrissy or I would be the people to help you with this. Anything? Old but, advertising executives. Yeah, it's, it's two old advertising we're executives really, really talking good. about erect stripper penis <laughs> at 11 in the morning. But, you know, whatever. We'll roll with it. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, commercial breakers, best to all of you who have been leaving wonderful podcast reviews on your favorite podcast player, especially all those who are using Apple. We really appreciate it. We've been deluged by wonderful comments and reviews that we couldn't be more grateful if you're one of those. If you're not, could you take just a few minutes and leave us a podcast review, comment or rating on your favorite podcast player? Almost all of them have some version of rating or review. It helps us grow the show. It'll make you feel better and it'll tickle all of our pickles. Thanks so much. Hey, 661-237-8296 is where you can leave us a text message or a voicemail, and we want to hear from you. Comments, questions, concerns, or content ideas, let us know by sending us a text or leaving us a voicemail at 661, the word best, the number two, Y-O-Yo. That's 661, best to yo. And go to tcbpodcast.com. You'll find all the audio and all the video right there at one location. You can now connect with us on social media at The Commercial Break on Instagram and youtube.com slash The Commercial Break. Still the only place to find all of the video content and exclusives you cannot find anywhere else. We're going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors. Please use their specialized URLs and or codes if you're ever in the market for their products or services. We certainly would appreciate it. We know our our sponsors would too. We'll be right back with this episode of The Commercial Break. Hey, all my TCB football fans, the first Sunday of the NFL season is here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving new customers a can't-miss offer to celebrate the return of the NFL season. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly. Let me repeat that. Spend $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly. As an added bonus for week one, everyone can experience 
experience the thrill of DraftKings early win promotion. It's simple. Bet on an NFL team to win, and if your team leads by 10 at any point during the game, you get paid instantly, even if your team loses. Getting paid even when you lose? It's too good to be true. DraftKings is doing it this week. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook application now and use the promo code TCB to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet this Sunday. That's code TCB only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. One more time, $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet this Sunday. Use the code TCB. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions do apply. See our show notes for additional details. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. Whatever kind of night you're having, start it off right with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. Whether you're mixing up a bullet bourbon old-fashioned for a cozy night in, or a kettle one Bloody Mary bar for a birthday brunch, you can get the perfect beer, wine, and spirits for any occasion delivered with Drizzly. So, what's it gonna be? Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com to choose your drinks today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. I'm 18 years old and I'm about to start my senior year in high school. I identify as gay and I have for a few years, but only my family and my best friends know this. My family has been super supportive since the beginning, but I have never felt that my sexuality is anybody else's business but my own. Fair enough. I'm with you there, Todd. You don't want to divulge? Don't, you know, I don't run around saying I'm straight. Right. Yeah, I don't go, (laughs) hey, not Brian Green, straight. Nice to meet you. (laughs) So uh, there are many other LGBTQ classmates but I don't feel like I want to be in a clique. Mm. And that's what it mm-hmm. seems to be at this particular sure. school I, I attend. Okay, fair enough. I'm in the drama club. I like theater. And this year I will. I, I know I will get the lead role as the love interest in High School the Musical. Ooh, now, I've okay. never seen High School oh, Musical. I have. So, okay. Yeah, that's great. There's a love interest? Mm-hmm. It, what, is, what is the story? I, well, I'm not. <laughs> Two kids dance and sing? Is that, is it's that... about a high school musical. Okay, right, right. Like uh, the girl playing the other lead role is basically the class queen she has been homecoming queen two year um uh two years in a row do you get homecoming queen as a sophomore yeah okay just checking. i was all right oh you were <laughs> how many years were you homecoming queen <laughs> two years in a row sophomore <laughs> and junior yeah were you really mm-hmm. i didn't know that i had no idea i was in the presence <laughs> of royalty <laughs> oh, do you get old vote- homecoming is that years. Voted, yeah, voted oh really and yeah. so you walk up and you do the whole thing. Yeah, my dad walked me. You the know, big high school yeah, dance. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And it was. Uh, Man, I bet the guys went crazy. Did they go crazy <laughs> over you? Were you a little. Were you sought after? <laughs> Did you put on a brogue and walk around? Uh, and... Brogue. <laughs> Chris, you said the word brogue the other day. It's a uh, brogue. It's a thing. Good for you. I had no idea you were homecoming yeah. queen two years in a row. I think I remember you saying you were the homecoming queen, but I had no idea it was two years mm-hmm. in a row. Yeah. Everybody bow down to Chrissy. Uh, <laughs> right. The girl playing the other lead in the role is a class queen, uh, homecoming queen two years in a row, and everybody loves her. Plus, she's super hot. Yeah. Her name, we'll call her, is Carly. Over the summer, I spent a lot of time with Carly. We went on walks. We shopped together. We went and had coffee, and we hung out at the lake. They're besties. I love it. She has no idea that I am gay. So this is not, I guess, one of his best friends. she does maybe have an inkling. Let's wait. Let's reserve judgment on this one. Okay. Uh, We even went out and partied together a few nights during summer. One night, we got super rolled out on Molly and went back to my house after the party. 
I don't know what came over me, but I got tonally horned up for some vagina. Mm -hmm. Something I have never had interest in. Just the thought of it makes my stomach do jumping jacks. And the smell of it. Oh, my God, that smell. I don't know how you straight guys do it, honestly. Oh, my God. All right, settle down, Tyler. To each their own. To each their own. Yes. Anyway, we get back to my house, and we are twisted like a paper bag. She starts going down on me. I loved it. I have never had head like this, ever. She was a true pro. No teeth, no loop-de-loos, no bobbing for apple bags, just good, clean American blowing and going. Wow. (laughs) What the fuck, Tyler? (laughs) You know too much. Too young, buddy. Uh, I just all of a sudden wanted to return the favor. Then just all of a sudden, I wanted to return the favor. Right. I don't know what came over me. She had her shirt off, Drugs. and her tits were perfect, so I pulled down her <laughs> pants, and I went where no ma- gay man should ever go, into a vulva. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I was all over the place. I had never seen a vagina up close, let alone been in one. I tried to remember where all the buttons were from sexual education, but I was <laughs> clueless and clubbed out. So I just shook my head back and forth with my tongue sticking out. <laughs> I know she didn't like it. She couldn't have. Who wants a horse neighing in their yam-yam? <laughs> <laughs> this kid is funny. I like. Uh, who wants a horse neighing in their yeah, yam? You get a visual with that. <laughs> I never heard the word yam yam. yam. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, anyway, I stayed hard long enough to have really pathetic teenage sex, and we both crashed after a smoke and a joint. Mm-hmm. The next morning, she was like a puppy dog. Oh, Tyler, I'm so glad we broke the ice. Oh, Tyler, I've had a crush on you all, all summer. Oh, Tyler, that's the best sex I've ever had. Well, she must not have had that much sex because <laughs> I am a chubby chaser who prefers <laughs> prefers hair on a man's back more than I prefer landing strip on a pussy. <laughs> she also mentioned that some people in school might have thought I was gay. I Instead of telling her in that moment, I let it pass like a wet fart. Some people meant her. Some people meant her. Of course it did. Yeah, that's what you say when, you know, Brian, I've been hearing some people think you're an idiot. Yeah. (laughs) Not me. Not me. It's not me. I don't don't think that. I hear the commercial break is an awful comedy podcast. It's not coming from my mouth. It's coming from some other people in the air. I think you're great. Everything's great. I love your show. Uh, I let the moment pass like a wet fart. I am such an idiot. I should have just told her then. Whatever. I finally got her out of my house, and I was mortified. My parents saw us in the kitchen. Uh, My parents had seen us in the kitchen, and my dad looked at me like I had three penises. (laughs) He knew better than to say anything out loud, but I could tell. Three penises, does that mean good or bad? No, I think that means bad. (laughs) Weird. And weird. Yeah, like, you know, your dad is like, (laughs) he says, I could tell that he knew we had hooked up. Right, because they knew. The, the they knew, knew. Yeah. of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, like, right. What's going on? Maybe not. Hey, listen, it's 2022. Of course too. you can. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, if you say you're gay and like, you know, all your interest is on boys and then one day you're sleeping with but girls. You know, sometimes you got to just test the other water. I don't really see this as that big of a deal, to be no. honest with you. I mean, maybe he should have told her that I prefer men. You know, you don't want somebody yeah. getting a crush on you. But well, I guess we'll, maybe we'll get to that in the, uh, the next part of the story. Okay. I could tell he knew that we had hooked up. And when she left, my mom was like a detective in one of those bad man movies. <laughs> I love it. She had to know what happened. And I was so embarrassed to tell her. And I regretted every minute of the night before. I just played it cool for the last couple of weeks of the summer vacation. And we never, we were never in a place to hook up again. Thank God. Okay. All right, yeah. Tyler. All right. But Say now, goodbye. yeah, now we have this school play coming up. And I know there's going to be lots of practice and rehearsal. She's going to want to spend time going over lines. And I'm like bad armpit sweating just thinking about it. I really need to tell her, but I know she's going to be crushed. And I don't want the whole school in my business. Mm -hmm. I also know that if I tell her, she's going to be upset and tell other people. Yeah, and she might even think that you that she was so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now you're gay? Yeah. (laughs) Man, that smelled so bad. I'm gay. (laughs) I mean, come on. Doesn't smell that bad, Tyler. Uh, la- bad at all? No, I don't. I don't. I like the smell personally. Uh, last year, I met a boy from another school. He wants to come see my play, and I know he'll know I have been eating her pussy. <laughs> we, we just know these kind of things by looking at another gay man guilty of such atrocities. <laughs> I love your show. I know you generally give bad advice, but what do I do? I am tempted to homeschool. Just kidding. I would never homeschool. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to you. Uh, thanks for your help. Love to you both. Chrissy, you're my hero. Brian, Aww. I have a celebrity crush on you. Aww. So if you ever want to try something new, just let me know. 
<laughs> I love it. Kidding. Astrid sounds lovely. Best to you. It. Okay, Tyler. Let's dissect here for a second. Yeah, friend. yeah. Let's talk about I it. I have no idea what it's like to be an eighteen-year-old gay teenager. So I just got to preface that, and I don't think Chrissy does either. Although no. she was homecoming queen <laughs> <laughs> two years in a row. Yeah. I uh, I understand. There's you. nothing wrong with experimentation. And first I don't of all, Tyler, so. let me just say. Beware of drugs. They will make you do things. Drugs will make you do anything. <laughs> yeah. yes. Depending on the drug. That's right. It'll make you do things you wouldn't normally do. You get so, on that molly. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> you get on that molly, there. shit starts getting twisted. Yeah. And you're but, only 18 years again, old. There's nothing wrong with experimentation. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with experimentation with the drugs or with the sex. Now, be cautious about the drugs, of course. Yes. And be cautious about the sex, I suppose, yeah, yes, too. Absolutely. I mean, the last thing you want to do is get someone pregnant and you want, <laughs> and, and then you have to be right. at least around a woman for the rest of your life. Yeah, just do that in the metaverse. Yeah. It sounds like you guys were <laughs> friends and you just crossed the line. And, yeah. you know, that's happened to me Everybody lots was of times curious. as a straight man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with what happened, but I do think you're in a finicky position now because you must explain to this woman that. Must you? I mean, unless is something being brought up? Did he say that? I can't remember. He's saying he's saying that she's just nervous. I think sometimes people, too, in your head. Yeah, you know, you get you can get in your own head. Yeah, and what does that person know? And what does this person think? And I get what it. I get it. You know, and you start just getting really anxious about what other people are thinking, and, and maybe they're not even thinking. So that. what does he do? He just tells well, her I that mean, he's not is interested. She trying to be his girlfriend. I think that's kind of the gist of the story, but I don't know. It doesn't go like color it in like yeah, that. But yeah. he does say that after they had sex. But you got to remember, Tyler. Also, is that when you're a teenager, everything seems fucking important. Yes, and nothing really is magnified. Right? Yeah, it's all magnified. So if she's giving you the this whole lovey-dovey speech after you guys had sex, that's because she wants to connect with you on some level mm-hmm. and and soothe herself and make sure that she, that it's okay for her. So we all kind of do this, even, I mean, even as, as an adult. I'm you do. I'm way, like, I mean, my self-confidence is like <laughs> zero minus negative two. And so even when I have sex with my own wife the next morning, I'm like, was that good for you? How was that? I'm in love with you so much. I mean, this is just like like baby love talk, right? It's It's something that you say to people to... Confirm that whatever happened the night before was okay. Yeah, indeed. Well, and is he worried too about the 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 other boy that he knows? He's worried about the other boy that he knows. Knowing he thinks he, that's this guy is going to pick it out. He's going to yeah. understand that the two of them. And maybe he's right. Maybe like she's just going to fawn over this over Tyler and. You know, that high school musical could turn into a porn real quick. And all of a sudden, <laughs> they're, they're all up Look, there banging. Everybody's getting ready to go to college. So, yeah. so you only got one more year to lie, yeah, and then yeah, you'll be good. You don't <laughs> have to like really address anything unless she addresses it. I, you know, if she's very pushy about wanting it, I would say, hey, you know, let's, let's have a little chat. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm actually have been thinking that I'm more of this way, but I love you. I loved you. <laughs> in the moment. I, I loved you right then in that moment. As I was spreading and as my a friend, seed inside you. And that, that crossed over into, you know, more than friends, but you know, I, I'm still figuring things out. I think you could I think you could be honest and and say mm-hmm. that and still be truthful, but I'm taking a little bit of a different angle on this. <laughs> okay. one. Just my opinion. I think that your sexuality is no one else's business until you start getting sexual with someone else. And so my opinion is 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 that there may be a way to convey to this to uh, Carly that this is just not your thing, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, and you don't have to like you know you don't have to get like pour your heart out to her. You just have to explain to her that hey, listen, whatever happened the other night, it's not usually something that I do, right? Because I kind of find myself attracted it was really to balls. Fun and yeah. it was really beautiful in yeah. the moment, but that's yeah, not really my thing. It was fun and beautiful in the moment, but I prefer balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a way to say this. And and listen, I understand yeah. the position that you're in, too, is that you don't like you don't want this whole you don't want to get painted into a corner and it becomes a big ordeal. So I would address it head on as quickly as possible. Deal with a little bit of the fallout. You tell your guy friend if it if it comes to it, you tell yeah. your your boyfriend, you say, hey, listen, man, I got wild one night. Experimented. We're teenagers. I was experimenting. Yeah. I had a hard on. I got off. It was a lovely event. I don't take it. You know, I don't think you should regret anything about this. No. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there's nothing Things wrong happen. with a little pussy every once in a while. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we all need it. We all came out of one. We can all go back into one. It's okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. Yeah. He tried it. Was yeah. it for him? Wasn't for him. Now he knows. Now you know for sure. Yeah. I would uh, venture to say that you'll probably not make that mistake twice 
right? Yeah. If that's not what you're into. And even if you decide to go back to the well on this one, I, I you know, I'm proud of you, Tyler. I'm proud of you. Very you got proud. fucked up and you slept <laughs> with someone you didn't want to. That's a, that's a sign of becoming a man, my friend. <laughs> All of us have gotten drunk and slept with someone we didn't want to. I think it's so, just, yes. I mean, I <laughs> probably everybody who's ever slept with me has said, I got drunk and slept with someone I didn't want to. Brian Green. <laughs> there is not a thing to be embarrassed about here, my friend. But no. I do think that the further away you run, the quicker this will catch up with you. And I think you need to address it one of two ways. You can take Chrissy's, Chrissy's way and just say, hey, listen. We're friends. I want to stay friendly. What we did was beautiful and wonderful and all that. But, mm-hmm. you know, I don't want to take it to the next level, right? Yeah. It's going to be hurtful either way. Right? If she's really that into you, it's going to be hurtful either way. Might be a relief. You never know. Maybe she thought it's a mistake too and she was just baby talking you after the, after you guys had sex. Maybe. Or you you tell her, hey, listen, this is normally not my thing. Like, you know, I happen to be into guys. Everybody, you know, the other people in school are right. right. Yes. I happen to be into school. <laughs> but I would appreciate it if, you know, you could keep that between you and at least 60 other people. Yeah, it, has nothing, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. It's just, you know, we we get caught up in a moment and it happens. Tyler, I get the sense that you're a lot like me. And that is, is that <laughs> high school is a fucking waste of time. You don't want to be there any more than you have to. Except for this... Uh, 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 drama club which mine was banned you know or go there and meet see my friends this is all going to be so fucking unimportant in a year it really You're is not even going to remember this moment yeah. you will you might remember it and you'll think it's hilarious and so will everybody else who hears the story <laughs> right. it's great right you had that one time with that one girl and it sounds like you know at least for part of the experience you were really enjoying it two years from now i guarantee this is going to be a blip on the radar it and really no is. one is going to fucking care i understand not wanting to be a part of a big uh clique of other you know lgbtq people that's fine you don't have to be their friends like that's the, no i don't think that's a prerequisite of what's going on here mm-hmm. so don't even fucking worry about this even if it blows up into a big drama and everybody was talking about how yeah. tyler is gay and he slept with the you know the homecoming queen who fucking cares wear that like a badge of honor yeah i boned the homecoming queen <laughs> all you straight guys couldn't that's like, yeah. Wear it like a badge exactly. of honor, dude. Walk around and say, all you fuckers are so horrible that only the gay guy in school could sleep with the homecoming queen. And I would call it a day because a year from now, my friend, you are going to be out in the world and it's not even going to fucking matter. <laughs> I appreciate Tyler writing I in. I love I think, the honesty. I think we just gave him the advice he can probably use. Watch it. <laughs> the whole thing's going to blow Keep us posted, face. Tyler. Yeah, please do keep us posted. That's the one thing that, uh, you know, everybody writes these stories and then they never write back to me when yeah, we have the questions. Happened. Yeah, I feel how like they get happen. a little nervous. Either that or like most listeners, they only listen to one episode, <laughs> wrote in, and then never listened again. <laughs> and that, that is okay too. I wonder where Tyler's located. Did he say that? No, Sometimes he Sometimes different parts of the country can be different ways too. Well, that's true. Well, I mean, if there's, if there's other out. Well, I mean, yeah, you, like if you're in southern Mississippi, yes. it's a lot different than if you're in New York exactly. City. Exactly. If you're in California, it's a lot different than if you're in Arkansas, you know, Arkansas or something like that. Mm-hmm. Right. There are certainly regional, uh, there are regional, I guess, uh, proclivities. And mm-hmm. I, I can understand if you don't, if you're in one of those more conservative type communities, yeah. how maybe you really don't want it to get out there. But I don't get the sense that that's Tyler. I don't think yeah, Tyler's okay. worried about that. His friends, his family know, his best friends, his family know. I think he's just being honest when he says, I don't want to be known as the gay guy in school, mm-hmm. right? Not that I care if anybody knows I'm gay. I just don't want to be the gay guy in mm-hmm. school or the gay guy in the clique. I want to tell you a story, Tyler. I think this might help ease your, ease your mind. <laughs> when I was 20 years old, um, um, Let Uncle Brian ease your mind. (laughs) When I was 20 years old, uh, working at a restaurant, there was a gentleman who came into our lives. He was a tall, lanky guy. Came into our lives. into our lives. What? Days of our lives. (laughs) You mean he was a customer? No, no. He was a a fellow employee. Oh, okay. He was tall. He was lanky. He was handsome. Yeah. It's a little bit strange, but... Everybody who worked at that restaurant was a little bit strange. <laughs> I worked at that restaurant. <laughs> he came into our lives, and the other queer people in the group identified him immediately as a gay person. However, he was married, so to a woman. 
doesn't mean... Doesn't mean shit. Yeah. No. Doesn't mean shit. We got to know his wife, and his wife was a beautiful, beautiful woman. And she was not working at the time. They had just moved in from a different state, and so she they didn't have a run. job yet. Yeah, they were on the run <laughs> from his gay past. Right. <laughs> he broke up with his boyfriend, uh, and they had to get out of the town. Yeah. So they lived in this apartment down the street from the restaurant that we worked at. Over time, as I became friendly with this couple, the gentleman, let's call him Dave. Dave started working at the restaurant during the day, but he went to go work at a gay bar at night. Okay, now this, yeah. more, now we're even more curious about, and, and maybe, Dave, maybe Dave was just curious, I'm not sure, right? right? But he would go and he would work until 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning at this bar. 24 hours. 24 hours a day. <laughs> Two days later, he, he's yeah, still there. He never came back to the apartment. <laughs> he went to the gay bar to work. He never came back. We all waited. It, we waited a long time, is what I'm saying, Tyler. I would go and hang out with his wife after I got off work at the request of Dave. Yeah, that's right. And keep my wife company. Keep my wife company. We're, mm-hmm. we're new here. We're lonely. We don't have many friends. Could you go and have a couple beers with her? You know, make sure. Nobody that she, better to put in a wife. No in one better to <laughs> throw in front of your Brian wife but Brian, Brian Green. Green. <laughs> single Brian Green. 20 year old single <laughs> Brian Green. <laughs> I might as well have had, I might as well have been a professional divorcer. <laughs> like you need a divorce? I didn't I mean to Brian sleep Green. with your wife. That's right. You need a divorce. <laughs> Brian Green is on the job. <laughs> I didn't mean to sleep with your wife. <laughs> it just happened many times <laughs> over the course of many months. Anyway, the point of the story is is that over a period of time, I started understanding that he was not asking me to hang out with his wife. He was asking me to hang out with his wife. All right. He was asking me to bang occupy his, his wife. wife. Occupy mm-hmm. his wife. So that she would so that she would be not focused on the fact that he was working at a gay bar right. and not coming home immediately after work. Yes. Right? This got very strange. Like it took me a couple <laughs> months to kind of catch on, but I started to catch on. Uh-huh. And I started to catch feelings for his wife. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm because sure. now we were spending a lot of time together. Right. Hanging. That's right. The apartment. Hanging at the apartment. <laughs> she had cats and Drinking I'm deathly allergic beer. to cats. So basically I was putting my my life in danger every time I went over there just to hang out with her. <laughs> at the request of her husband, by the way. Now, most husbands, if you come, you know, you're new to the state and you got this wily coyote kind of guy running around the restaurant, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you being wily coyote. Me being wily coyote, right? You, you normally <laughs> wouldn't suggest that that particular guy show up at your apartment he saw something while you're at work. You. He saw something in me. Mm-hmm. He saw a straight man willing to sleep with his wife. <laughs> this is what he saw. Up for the job. That's right. <laughs> Literally up for the Literally job. Literally up. Yeah. Uh, I never slept with his wife. Okay. We never, I never crossed that boundary. I felt like they were married and that was com- completely You just did everything, yeah. but. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been a few nights when it got a little wild, but, you know, we never took it there necessarily okay. all the way. Let's just put, let's just point that out. Uh, after a period of time, they moved on. I moved on. Everybody moved on. You know, we're talking like years and years and years later. I can't believe you guys didn't stay at that that restaurant for <laughs> get the gold watch. I tried, but I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but there's I got, no turnover in restaurants. I got fired for handing liquor out the back too. <laughs> oh, just we a used different to buy liquor out the back of his. Oh of my god! Restaurant I didn't too. even buy it. I gave it to somebody for their birthday, and it was the boyfriend of another girl that I was sleeping with <laughs> at the restaurant. Oh my god. I felt bad. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a whole different it's, go, that's a whole bro. different story. Yeah, here you go, bro. Sorry about your girlfriend. <laughs> and then he went and told the owner that I had handed him oh, the bottle. He got it me. It was fired. a trap. It was a trap. I bit. Anyway, the point of the first He story, might have deserved it. I definitely I, I didn't know they were boyfriend girlfriend until someone oh. told me. Oh, okay. And, and then I I swore her off. Yeah. But then I didn't <laughs> did swear they, her they, off. Yeah. <laughs> it only lasted for so and long. The, the siren call. Yeah. The point is, this gentleman many years later come to find out that he is out, right? And he shared a story on Facebook one time about how miserable his life was for yeah. so many years and yeah. how he strung this girl along like he had the, it was like this real maya copa about how he felt so horrible mm-hmm. uh, not only f- for himself for for you know not sharing that he's just saying the truth 
Um, and this is a little bit of a different, like this is a little bit more deep than I think what Tyler was talking about, but it's along the same vein. But he was more apologetic about the girl that he for many years strung along and kind of was just being a bad husband. Married her. Yeah, he married her. <laughs> He married her. <laughs> That's more than stringing along. That's fucking intense, man. But, you know, times are different now. And I do know what you're talking about because, I mean, there are many times over the course of my life yeah. have I met men and just known. Yeah. And they're married. And they're married. Yeah, yeah. they're married. And that's but... their choice. And, and, you know. and some people want to do that. Yeah. You know, they want to try and convince themselves they're not. But he, Tyler seems like he's pretty. No, Tyler, I think Tyler's good with himself. Yeah, yeah, it seems like Tyler's good with himself. Seems like he just had one bad night. What I'm trying to say, blip. Tyler, is yeah, don't make that blip turn into some you know big ordeal. Like, don't marry you know, her, just, just, Tyler. Yeah, just yeah, don't marry her <laughs> unless she gets pregnant. Then you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you live in one of the. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, yeah Tyler. It's all good, my brother. Yes. You, you had a little fuck up there. You had a little slip up. Um, yeah. But it, it sounds, like it, sounds like you got a good blow you, job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you got a good blow job. Yes. <laughs> no, what did he say? No loop de loops? Yeah. No bobbing no for apple bags? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no teeth, no bobbing for apples. <laughs> oh. We're here for you, Tyler. Tyler's probably just as confused as when he wrote the text message. He's probably like, what did those guys just tell me to do? <laughs> I would say be honest. I would say be just tell her, just tell her. It'll be all right, buddy. You, you I mean, yeah. That's I my mean, opinion. unless you don't have to tell. Like, I mean, again, unless things just go away. Yeah, like, unless maybe he's just like whatever. Introduce not interested her anymore. to somebody else. Yeah, introduce her to the other guy from the other school. Yeah. <laughs> See if he sleeps with her too. And then now you got something right. really good going on. Now you got the best of both worlds. Yes. You got that awesome blowjob, and you still get the ass you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tyler, we solved the problem. We did. Polyamory. That's what Poly-amory. you need. Polyamory. Uh, Adam the Liar. It's a channel on YouTube. He can probably give you better <laughs> advice than we can. <laughs> uh, I love it when people write in. You need to write in. 661-237-8296-661. The word best. The number two. Why? Oh, yo. Please send us a text message story and be available for follow-up questions. That's all I got to say. Tyler, if you want to write back in, I mean, I got your phone number. I'll just text him. What, what am I saying? I'm like oh, talking okay. to him yeah. through the microphone. <laughs> he texted me. I mean, he texted the hotline. Uh, you can also get a hold of us at tcbpodcast.com. You hit the contact us button. You can drop us an email. We'd love to hear any questions, comments, concerns, or content ideas you might have. Send them in. We love them, and we often use them, uh, and we'll give you credit where credit is due if we do indeed, do indeed use your idea. We're also doing TCB Random. TCB Random is where Chrissy and I take literally a topic, just a word, an idea, a phrase, and we'll opine about it for five or ten minutes. It's true improv comedy, which neither Chrissy or I have been trained upon, so this should be a real <laughs> shit show. <laughs> uh, but I, like, I, like send, I love it. Send those ideas into uh, the text message Don't line. Don't you say, and then? Isn't that one of yeah, the and then. then? That's right. Yep. We'll have to, maybe we'll get a little training on improv before that. we actually do that. Yes. We'll go down to the local uh, improv shop. <laughs> say, hey, we have There's a, a number one me. comedy podcast. Can you guys? There's a place near me, oh, Dad's Garage. Oh, Dad's Garage is good. Have, yeah, yeah, those guys are classes there, too. Absolutely. Love it. All right, so tcbpodcast.com, at the commercial break on Instagram, youtube.com slash the commercial break. That's the important one because we put actual fresh content up there, unlike our Instagram that's been stuck in 2021 <laughs> for a year. I'm uh, forgetting about that. Oh, yeah. I know. We got we to gotta work on that. Maybe I'll just post like a Happy New Year photo yeah. once a year. Fair enough. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Best to you. Best to you. And best to you out there in the podcast yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah, Until yeah, next yeah, time, yeah, yeah. we always say, we do say, and we must say, bye. bye. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. I'm Maga Robbie, and I play Bobby. And I'm Ryan Gosling, and I play Ken. Max is now the exclusive streaming home of Barbie. So cool. And the Max with Ads plan is included with your Cricket $60 Unlimited plan at no additional cost. Log in with your Cricket username and password to experience Max on all your favorite devices. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. Don't miss Barbie, now streaming on Max. Phone plan streams in standard definition. Programming subject to change. These terms and restrictions apply. See CricketWireless.com for details.
the mistletoe margarita, the Scrooge driver, the North Pole punch. The holidays call for cocktails, so get everything you'll need for them delivered with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. So what's it gonna be? Classics like Bullet Bourbon, Don Julio Reposado, or Kettle One, or maybe something new. Find it all on Drizzly where you can get beer, wine, and spirits delivered for any holiday festivity. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. When you wake up well-rested on a great mattress, everything becomes clear. I do have a favorite child. Things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves. I use memes as a coping mechanism. It's Mattress Firm's once-a-year sale and clearance. Get up to 60% off select Sealy, plus a free adjustable base, all with free and fast delivery. Deals this big won't last long, so don't miss out. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try.